This is Anjal Soni. Welcome to this video. Um, this is the last video in this series um, and we'll discuss um, how to assemble um, all the items that we have created into a dashboard, uh, dashboard formatting along with some developers tips. I'm switching to my worksheet. I'll just delete this empty dashboard. In my last video, I didn't do the title and number formatting for total profit and to total discount. And um, I'm assuming that you would be able to do this. If you have any questions, then you can just let me know. I'm creating a new dashboard now. Um, the two primary things that I do whenever I create a new dashboard is one, create a placeholder for dashboard title by checking on this uh, box, show dashboard title. Um, even if you are not sure about the text that you need to put it into your title, just create a placeholder. Um, until if uh, you um, are sure that you won't need a title if it's a sub dashboard or maybe uh, because of any other reason, you can skip in that case. Otherwise, you would always need to create a dashboard title. The second thing is that I um assign an approximate width and height to my dashboard uh, especially in cases when i know that there is a summary table i would need um, some height for that table um, so i uh, increase the height of the dashboard uh, let's switch to 1200 px and let's increase the width as well uh, this is optional you can do this later as well um, I like doing this um, in the initial stages um, uh, as it helps me organize my content better now when I created a dashboard title Tableau has auto populated this container this is a vertical container uh, so now whatever elements that I bring in uh, will fall under this container I can remove this container as well and bring in my um, items in the uh, default container which is there. When you click on this arrow and you see uh, the container over here. Um, so there are two ways by which you can design your dashboard. Uh, one is in this tiled setting and other is floating. Uh, tiled is by default which means whatever elements that you bring into your dashboard will automatically occupy the space when you keep the item floating just like this so as the name suggests that it will stay float float floating and it won't um, occupy the space on your dashboard one drawback of keeping the items floating is that if you have uh, users who are uh, who are going to view your dashboard in different devices then the floating containers or floating sheets um, may not occupy the exact uh, position that uh, you had um, selected while uh, designing this dashboard so suppose if your uh, user is viewing this dashboard in a big desktop screen then um, the floating container uh, might um, get misaligned um, and I'm talking this from a real uh, uh, real time uh, experience that I've had recently in my project in that case uh, what I did was I removed the floating containers and sheets and made them tight so that's a basic description of the type of uh, setting that we can choose for our elements um, I'm removing this all right um, I like to use containers in my dashboard it is optional until unless it is supported by a specific case uh, like if you want to do custom uh, show and hide for your dashboard uh, in that case you necessarily need a uh, container if you are not um, if you if you are developing it uh, um, as a part of custom feature um, but it is optional otherwise you can or cannot use the containers 
uh, especially for bands i like using the containers because it helps me to align the um, objects so i'll bring in horizontal container over here i'll have to switch to tiled all right now i bring in the um, bands so total sales total profit and total discount drop the sheet only when you see this gray mark this means that your um, object is falling under that container whatever filters that you have in your sheets <coughs> will um, get populated over here in a separate container uh, let's remove the title all right now i want to show these filters between my dashboard title and bands um, because this would also give a message to the users that these filters apply to the entire dashboard or all the elements that fall beneath these filters um, so i'll bring in a horizontal container again i'm not using vertical container because it lets you align the contents uh, the elements one beneath another i want to um, keep the uh, filters one after the another that's why i'll bring in horizontal container um, between dashboard title and bands let's um, reduce the size and let's bring in these one by one drop this only when you see this gray mark and uh, drop the second one onwards when you see that gray mark all right so we have our filters we have our bands now beneath this i want to show two bar charts category sales and subcategory sales mm, i'm bringing them into a container let's bring in horizontal container drop this when you see this gray mark and let's adjust the size all right category sales and subcategory sales let's adjust the size okay um now i want to show the trend chart and beneath that i want to show summary i don't want to uh, i don't have two sh charts beneath these ones uh, to be shown together so that's why i'm not using a container now i'll bring in trend and drop when i see this gray mark and let's bring in summary and beneath this now we'll resize our elements mm, i want uh, this chart to have sufficient height so that um, uh, few good uh, number of records are getting shown up uh, this is a color legend which gets automatically um, occupied into this container i'll keep this floating um, i'm keeping this here for now let's reduce the size of the charts here mm. this much should be okay let's reduce the size of this trend chart all right now um, let's bring this a little down okay there is no specific rule for keeping the sizes of the charts uh, you'll have to look from visual perspective how your charts are actually looking into a in a no dashboard all right so now let's um, first add the colors then we'll do the formatting of this summary table um, and the formatting of the dashboard how color palettes are chosen um, so it totally depends on what your client wants if there are brand guidelines uh, which your client already has then you'll have to pick colors from the color palette provided by them if not then try to use um, business centric formal colors for your dashboards um, and um, it 
also depends on the theme for which you are creating the dashboard so as per your use case try to pick the colors i'll keep be choosing blue color palette for um, my dashboard so let's go to category sales let's bring category to color these are the default colors which get assigned i'll double click on furniture and choose a color palette from here blue assign palette okay it will automatically assign the colors let's do the same for subcategory bring the color in and it is showing me uh, the colors the blue color palette only because earlier i had chosen this for subcategory that's why for you if you're doing this for the first time it might be showing you the default colors so in the similar manner uh, the way we did for category just go and choose the blue color palette then in trend chart now since we have chosen blue color palette in our category um, chart over here uh, wherever category would be used on color the same color palette would be chosen but i don't want to use the same color palette over here um so what we'll do is let's create a duplicate of this field and bring this on color now let's choose colors any random colors furniture office supplies and technology all right then um for bands uh, we need to assign a background color so what you'll do is either do a right click here go to format or from here format and then shading so here I'll choose shading um, and I want to do a blue color in the background and a white color on the text. Alright, let's copy paste this formatting. Whenever you create bands, if there are multiple ones, then do all the formatting at once and then copy paste it to create another band. Uh, so that you don't have to redo the formatting okay and let's paste this for total discount all right okay so this is how my dashboard looks now um, I'll bring the color legend over here let's arrange the items in a single row and let's not show the title it's auto understood all right now let's do the formatting for summary chart uh, i see that the um, figures and the titles are not center aligned so what i'll do is i'll click here uh, format then sorry i need to go to uh, alignment pane alignment should be center and header alignment should be center again now i want this table to occupy the entire space that i have over here um, I'll do the fit width from here. You can do this change, this um, fitting change and the formatting change in sheet as well and on dashboard as well. Now um, under um, dashboard formatting, what comes is your background, uh, your dashboard uh, background, dashboard border, and um, inner padding outer padding so when you go to the layout tab over here you see the formatting changes that you can do for your dashboard um, let's add uh, some boundary to this one so uh, i'll do outer padding i'm removing all sides equal and 24 you can see this has given me a boundary over here 
I want to do the same for uh, total discount and this should be at the right side this time see and I want that there should be a uh, there should be some space between the bands and the chart beneath this so I'll do the same for bottom as well let's keep it 14 um, over here let's keep it 14 and same for total profit sorry it has got applied to all these sides okay so similarly um, if you want you can um, add boundaries to all of these charts I'm leaving that to you just go to each chart and add a boundary using outer padding uh, from the left and right of these respective charts over here um, try to change the font styling font color font size of the titles over here try to add a background um, to your dashboard entire dashboard which means the tiled container that you have or the um, background of your sheets you can select your sheets and give a background color try to do these formatting changes by yourself um, and try to build a few dashboards basic dashboards like these if you have any questions then just drop those questions into the comments or reach out to me on LinkedIn that's all thank you so much for sticking through uh, if you like my content then do subscribe to my channel and share it across thank you